Hi, I'm Mary Ann Bonetti. I'm here at Kelly Farms, and this is a venue that you can rent here in Bonnie Lake, Washington. And I've been planting some of my favorite plants and flowers here, and I thought I'd just give you a little visual garden tour of some of the great things we have growing here. So let's get going. So here we have a great combination of country look flowers. We've got the Rebecca daisies. These come back every year because they're perennials. And then in here we have a Tasmanian tiger euphorbias. Euphorbias are great. They're perennials. They look good in the winter time. Um, and then we have some other sun lovers down here. The white petunias are kind of a signature flower at Kelly Farm. And we're going to enjoy a lot of these in the hot spots of the gardens. So. Let's go see the side of the barn where the roses are. Here is the hot side of the barn and we use the flower carpet roses. Now flower carpet roses are a really disease resistant rose and uh, it overwinters beautifully, never needs spraying and the bright white color shows up great against the dark of the barn. Um, and then there's white geraniums there as well. The taller roses are a rose that's called Sheer Elegance, another one of the landscape type roses that is very disease resistant. Now here is another hot side of the Kelly Farm barn and we have once again the Rebecca daisies that return year after year and here's the Helianthus. Helianthus is a type of like a sunflower and has a great smaller bloom. Both of these attract butterflies, there's lots of butterflies and then in the back we have the white flowering volcano phlox. And so three different kinds of flowers in front of this bed. Now everybody admires the white hydrangeas that bloom in full sun here at Kelly's Farm. And these are hydrangea paniculata. And you can see it's got a lot of pollinating insects that like the blooms. And they will bloom all summer and then in the fall they kind of turn in lovely peach and pink color. Next to them is another very drought resistant sun lover and this is Artemisia. Lovely gray foliage of Artemisia. And now we're going to see as we go down the line here we've got even more of the hydrangeas and these are just bursting into bloom and once again you're going to get pink flowers here next to the blue Veronica. The Veronica is also perennial we can cut these back and they're going to keep blooming all summer. And then we have a different kind of a hydrangea. This hydrangea has got leaves that are large and lobed. This is a uh, hydrangea that also gets flowers on it, but it's going to turn red in the fall. And this is the oak leaf hydrangea. So this will be beautiful in the fall. And next to, once again, the um, Rebecca daisies that are getting ready to bloom here. So this is a really exposed area of the Kelly Farms. We get a lot of wind, we get a lot of sun, we get a lot of cold weather, but this hydrangea is very hardy. Remember, it's hydrangea paniculata. This is not your traditional hydrangea with the big round blooms. This is a more dome-shaped bloom, and this is a dwarf hydrangea paniculata. So they're gonna stay nice and compact, provide color all summer and into the fall. Growing up this telephone pole is the golden hop vine. And that's kind of a nod to what used to grow here in this uh, valley, a lot of hop vines. Hop is what they make beer out of. And this is an ornamental golden hop vine. And it grows like crazy and it comes back year after year. Then down near the base of it, we have more of the daisies and we have more of the hydrangea paniculata and the white petunias. Here is the Crescent Moon Garden, and we put this in a couple years ago. And what it is, it is a raised bed uh, in the shape of a, of a semicircle or a crescent moon filled with only white and silver flowers. Um, and then we have some hot pink phlox blooming in the back. I think they were supposed to be white when we planted them, but they're pink, and so that's good because they do well. This is a great spot where you know brides like to pose and have white flowers all at their feet. We're using white lobelia here, and then there's an uh, evergreen, a low-growing evergreen that is called lamium, and it is called lamium white nancy. So it's white petunias, white lobelia, and then some surprise pink phlox in the back. This is one of the outsheds at Kelly Farm, and it's really rustic and old-fashioned, and it's cool that they got these old-fashioned flowers. The ones with the pink blooms, um, they are called Althea, 
and it's a really old-fashioned flower. Um, rose mallow is the common name, rose mallow. And then there is a butterfly bush, and this butterfly bush has purple cone-shaped flowers, and it's unusual because the leaves are variegated or, you know, green and white leaves, and it kind of stands out better against the, the dark uh, garden shed. And then all over Kelly Farms, just hanging baskets of flowers, hanging baskets of geraniums, and hanging baskets of, uh, of uh, lobelia. And also, we are rather close to the uh, honeymoon cottage, and so there is some fragrant things planted. They've got daphnes here, and uh, roses, and just a lot more color. Okay, now these are some roses that I planted last summer, and they are the sweet spot roses. And sweet spot roses, they're the decorator rose. They are grown to be disease resistant, drought resistant. They bloom all summer, and they come in ruby, like this one. The flowers has got a very dark ruby eye on it. They also have an amber one that has a, a peach color with a dark eye. Um, and these roses are great because they're naturally more compact to grow uh, around, they grow in pots, they grow around homes, and they continually bloom all summer long. So the sweet spot roses are a new rose from the people that brought us the flower carpet roses. And you know, the flower carpet roses are great landscape roses, so are the much more decorative sweet spot roses. Here's the super hardy hydrangea at Kelly Farms. And this is a hydrangea everybody's asking me about. It stays compact. It starts blooming early in the summer. Then the flower is going to change to this beautiful pink as fall comes. It's called Little Quick Fire Hardy Hydrangea. And it is a hydrangea paniculata. Very different than the hydrangea that you typically see in the Northwest with the big round blue balls of blooms. This hydrangea can handle full sun. So, Little Quick Fire, it's a proven winner's hydrangea, great landscaping hydrangea, and if you have a sunny spot and you want really long lasting color, go with this Little Quick Fire hydrangea. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this tour, this video tour of a lot of the flowers and the shrubs here at Kelly Farms. And uh, if you have any other gardening questions, you can ask them to me at plantersplace.com, which is the website where I answer all your gardening questions within about 48 hours.